Meanwhile, let's move on amidst uh, the all-out war and Russian missiles. Ukrainian President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky remains a picture of courage and defiance. In his latest video, Zelensky has dared the Russian army by defiantly giving out his locations in a dramatic video. Zelensky said that he continues to remain in Kyiv and says he is at the Bankova Street, adding that he's not in hiding nor is afraid, promising to wage an unrelenting war to keep his country free. Oh. Понеділок-вечір-вознайте-ми Meanwhile, the Luhansk and the Donetsk militia have made extensive advancements towards the capital city of Kiev in the last couple of days. Here's a conversation with Rajesh Pavar, my colleague on ground, who revealed these details. Big statement coming in, however, from the Ukrainian military right now saying that the enemy has regrouped. They've also taken the names of the Wagner Group, which is a, a you know, Russian militia in the Luhansk region. Also, uh, Kadyrovitsi, which is, uh, you know, a paramilitary organization in Chechnya. You know, those two names have been taken, Rajesh. Can you make sense of this for us? The Ukrainian military says that the best combat units of Russia, in addition to Chechnyan paramilitary as well as, you know, the, the Luhansk paramilitary of the Russian, the Wagner group, apparently involved in what they expect to be a big attack on Kyiv. Look, Luhansk militia has officially announced about four days back that they have advanced 64 kilometers inside Ukrainian territory. Hmm. And yes, it has been confirmed on ground as well. Lugansk militia or be it Donetsk militia, both of them made extensive gains of territory. They have they claim to capture 40 villages of or, or small towns in that area. As long as Chechens are concerned, believe me, everybody's very scared of Chechens here. In fact, I met a few uh, Western journalists and they were leaving when they thought that attack on Kiev is imminent. And the statement from these Western journalists is, we are not afraid of Russians, we are afraid of Chechens because they will shoot whosoever comes in the line. So Chechen fighters is a big factor and is a factor which everybody's afraid of here, believe me. Whether okay. they're coming in or not, these are reports which has emanated from Russia as mm. well. The Chechen forces are also uh, in the front line here along with Russian troops to capture Kyiv. Over to Ishim. So it, it, it is credible you're saying then, Rajesh, that, that uh, uh, you know, Luhansk uh, uh, militias as well as Chechnyan militias could possibly be coming or is it, is it just something that the Ukrainian MOD is saying? Look, I will not call them really militia as such. Mm. This is Ukrainian press maybe calling them militia mm. because Lugansk army is, yes, in the Lugansk for last seven to eight years, militia was fighting. But a lot of them are very, very much a part of regular army of the Russian army, which are there and people who are from Lugansk. Same, same with the Chechenia. There are Chechen units in the Russian army, regular army, maybe some militia, but I think on the front line, when they are facing a professional army in front of them, I think it will be more of regular Russian army, which will have Chechen element in it, Understood. which will be facing off with the Ukrainian army. Okay, yeah. Ra Rajesh, thanks very much for being with me.